But I don't even know how much turf grass I've grown in with no phosphorus. Bermuda grass sprigs, Bermuda grass sod, Bermuda grass plugs, St. Augustine grass sod, tall fescue seed, bluegrass seed, bent grass. I mean, you name it. I've grown in, I don't know how much turf grass over my life. And I don't apply phosphorus unless there's a good reason during establishment. You, you don't, I mean, it's, it's, it's a regular application of nitrogen, usually a progressive type approach where you're applying almost none at the beginning. After you've mown it once or twice, then you start applying a little bit of nitrogen to kind of match the growth rate of the turf grass. So you're not applying a pound on week one because there's no roots. You might be applying a pound on week seven or eight when the turf grass is starting to grow robustly and blah, blah, blah. Okay. But I don't apply any phosphorus. <laughs> And there's just not you're not gonna see any benefit from it and as a and as an lco owner as a lawn care owner you're just wasting that money if, if you don't care about the environment i can't change your mind on that don't worry about it but you certainly should care about your profit you're buying phosphorus and applying phosphorus when you probably have no reason to there's no the turf grass isn't going to see any benefit to that and that fertilizer is costing you more money which is reducing your margin so unless you have a good reason, I wouldn't be doing it.